on the show, Dr. J.J. Levenstein tells you how to protect your child from measles and whooping cough. Recording artist B.J. Thomas is here, a pop recording artist, gospel, country music icon. All of it, just he just puts his arms around everything. Are, are, are and, you look, who are you looking at? And, I, know, right. <laughs> I know, right? Um, and so many other hits that have crossed generations and generations. Good to have you with us and Thank spending you. some time with us. Thank you very much. So, Great to be here. Let's talk a little bit about um, uh, raindrops keep falling all in my head, right? Yeah. Do, do you, when you first sang, it almost didn't happen, right? I almost didn't happen. You know, back, I was, uh, back in the day, I was doing some one-nighter, three weeks of one-nighters in the Midwest, and you know, some people may know back in that time I used to how I used to have a good, good like time. have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> we all did. It was the '60s. And I had been We're having right? the subtitles in later, okay? <laughs> and I've been having a great time, but they uh, they got Gloria to come out with me, uh, flew me out here. Your wife? They, yeah, yes. they, we've been married 46 years, and they knew uh, Gloria had a sobering effect on me, so they <laughs> they flew her out with me, and I came out and worked with Mr. Backrack. Uh, 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 I had to go to the doctor the day before, uh, the day of the rehearsal. My throat was killing me, and I went, and he said, uh, you know, B, you've got the worst throat I've, I've ever seen. He said, uh, you wow. have acute laryngitis, and uh, I don't want you to even speak for two weeks. Oh. And I said, man, you know, I didn't know what I was going to do, but it wasn't a question of not, not showing up, you know. So I, I went out, and uh, Bert was uh, not that thrilled, you know, when, uh, when yeah. he, he, you know, he realized right off that I had laryngitis. but. Uh, as he said in his book, he said, uh, B.J. had laryngitis, but I, I taught him how to phrase the song, and it, it came off okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, we should mention it was Burt Bacharach. Bacharach. Mr. Bacharach, yeah. Mr. Bacharach, Bacharach and yeah. uh, it worked out just right for the bicycle scene, and we recut it for the uh, single version about six mm -hmm. weeks later. And, wow. Uh, but your career has, has gone across so many decades. We have some photographs. I'm going to just, we'll put them up on the screen. Decades and decades. Decades man. and decades. <laughs> that it, where you've changed and you've gone through all these different things as well. Yes. Um, what are we looking at there? Oh, that's me. And I'm in Boston there at the, at the uh, at a nightclub, uh, I think the Venus Club. In, you in have Boston. a Beatles haircut. Yeah. 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 And what's well, next? And then. Same. Still? Oh, that's the one in Boston. The other one was a one nighter somewhere. I don't know exactly. Where. This is the one in Boston, and I'm, I'm I used to, you know, I used to move around a little bit then. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this what? is a, this is right Ed after Sullivan. the right yeah. after the Ed Sullivan, Sullivan show, Sullivan. and Ed Ed so loved uh, Gloria, and uh, and uh, that's that's Steve Tyrell on the on the screen right there. Steve Tyrell is uh, the A and R guy for Scepter Records, and my. My manager at that time, he wasn't a, he wasn't a singer yet. <gasps> Love the hair. Course, that's, that's, that's Ray oh, Charles. Oh, Ray Charles. That's we, Charles. We cut again, and wow. uh, you know, Ray, and Ray, Ray gave everybody a hard time but me. And somehow he, uh, we just hit it off, and uh, he was just, you know, the best of all time. Sure. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you mentioned something about, because we're such a family-oriented show here, you mentioned about meeting your wife for the, you know, and, and how she had yeah. a sobering effect on you. She's, uh, well, she's, uh, you know, she could always see me for who I was. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, of course, you I had remember my, that I, you met? She could see you for who you were? I, I think possibly so, yeah. How did you meet? Uh, there was, well, I was in a nightclub. Uh, I had worked the previous night. I don't know what I was doing back in that <laughs> nightclub. But uh, I'm glad I was. And uh, she was across the table from me. And we, you know, I just instantly was attracted to her. Sure. And I said, I'm going to take you, take you home this evening, Gloria. And she said, well, I came with somebody else. And I said, I found out who it was. I said, well, I'll go take care of it. So I went to her. I said, hey, I'm taking Gloria home. And he said, well, hey, well, she came to me. I said, I'm taking Gloria home, you know. So when I got back to the table, we talked for a little bit. And then That's how it works? I love that. <laughs> I love that. That's how it works. I'm going to go home. Yeah, yeah. I've been doing it wrong all this time. It's good to be the lead singer, you know. <laughs> so uh, she said, uh, you know, if you change your mind, when we get out in the lights, if you change your mind, uh, I'll understand. And, Why did uh, she say that? And when we got out in the lights, uh, she had been through a windshield, and she had uh, she had 400 stitches in, in her face, oh. and uh, so uh, just instantly when I saw that, I loved her, you know. So. Oh, oh wow. that's I love how it still touches you today. Still touches wow, you yeah, we're still, you know, we're still in love. Yeah, we're in love. So, well, he's great. Okay, now I can't sing. Yeah, it's like, oh my God, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, you've got the teardrops uh, yeah. to go yeah, with the raindrops. Right. Uh, can you pull it together? You want to say? Oh, that? absolutely. I'm say yeah. You I was guys just want to hear it. Yeah. I, was just, yeah. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> raindrops have fallen on my head. And just like the guy whose feet are too big for his bed Nothing seems to fit 
Those raindrops are falling on my head and they keep falling. So I just did me some talking to the sun. And I said I didn't like the way he got things done. Sleeping on the job. And those raindrops are falling on my head and they keep falling. But there's one thing I know. The blues they send to meet me won't defeat me. It won't be long till happiness steps up to greet me. Raindrops keep falling on my head, but that doesn't mean my eyes will soon be turning red. Cry is not for me, cause I'm never gonna stop the rain by complaining because I'm free. Nothing's worrying me. It won't be long till happiness steps up to greet me. Raindrops keep falling on my head, but that doesn't mean my eyes will soon be turning red. Not for me, cause I'm never gonna stop the rain by complaining because I'm free. Nothing's worrying me. <laughs> Boy, does that take you back or what? Not, maybe not you, you're too young, but wow. Now I'm crying. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I'm crying so More information crying. about BJ's uh, CD and his uh, tour schedule. If you want to drop in at BJThomas.com, it's a place to be. Thank you wow. so much for that. Thank you so much. I moved too by the story with your wife. Yes. Oh my gosh. All right, Debbie, it's your I mean, turn. How do you follow that? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Good luck. You're forcing me to believe anything you say with a voice like that. When you guys come back, I'm going to show you the seven staple items that every woman should have in her wardrobe. It will never go out of style. <laughs>